father here with our next war recap and this one was not necessarily a pretty one but a win nonetheless um, got down kind of early but as you can see here we got about seven minutes left we're up by five they only have four attacks left and only two of those would be meaningful attacks and they've pretty much given up and so even if they got a star with every attack remaining they would lose and so this is going to be a win for the good guys so great job to everybody we had some uh kind of our usuals as well as some people who contributed big here towards the end and uh beginning first and foremost with general sherman uh, mvp of this war six star war three starring two town hall nines absolutely clutch and uh, much needed so we had several copycat bases we struggled with and general sherman was able to take that base out and kind of give us the pattern to take out some of those bases so really nice job there sherman appreciate that and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the three-star attacks, starting with Sherman's first one on the number two base. And you can see it's kind of a southern teaser style, only it does have walls there. And so he's just going to bring a, a straight-up go wee wee, stoned go wee wee. He's got three golems in there, uh, got a nice spread on him. He's only got two in right now, but he's going ahead and working, creating the funnel. Third one goes in, he's got everything going into the middle. Backs it up with the wizards to open the pathway for the witches and the skellies to get in, followed by the heroes, and goes directly at that enemy archer queen. Uh, drops the spells early, heal, and rage to deal with the heroes and the clan castle, poisoning them as we go. Uh, a few wizards end up going around the outside. That will be beneficial, obviously, for cleaning up some of those trash buildings uh, without any defenses targeting them whatsoever as he approaches the town hall he's got his other rage and heal spell there just to guarantee the two star and from there it's just a matter of whether there's enough firepower to get the job done golems are doing a good job of tanking everything witches are providing distractions with the skellies and so far the defenses are staying off them target wise and so just a ton of skellies running around queen is doing her thing picking off defenses from range and he's just about got that big pocket of defenses taken out in the core there. Uh, then it's just a matter of can he break through the walls and take care of these last remaining few defenses. Uh, he's got a mortar there firing on a witch. She does go down before she's able to get that last one out. Uh, but just a few defenses left. The skellies are going to break through these walls in just a moment here. And uh, then they're going to kind of go to town on some of those outside buildings. But there's a couple golems there uh, still tanking the whiz tower. And just allowing the witch to go around freely and take out buildings while the skellies kind of work the cleanup. Witches jump to the outside to stay out of range. And they're already in cleanup mode. And that allows uh, the queen to kind of go in there and take care of the rest. Uh, she gets that last splash damage defense, which is going to be the last main issue for this attack. And from there, it's just a matter of getting into that archer tower, which is being distracted by the skellies. And she's staying away from the queen. Still got the ability left. Pops it right there to go ahead and break through the wall. And the queen finishes the raid. So really nice, uh, just a straight up go wee wee attack. Just letting the power of that army composition do the work. And we'll move right into the next one. The next three star base was also General Sherman number seven base. And he's coming against the diamond moat, uh, diamond Tesla moat base here. And again, just bringing that straight up stone go wee wee attack there. Drops the golems to get the attention of the defenses. Breaks the walls. Heroes go in. That king is going to go ahead and aggro onto the enemy archer queen and be able to take her out. And then goes ahead and sends everything. Witches, wizards, everything. Again, early spells, heal and rage to get through that initial push. Clan castle pops. He's got the poison down already as they fly into it and start baking in the heat of the poison spell and the queen in the rage spell is going to go ahead and take them down very quickly while the dragon is distracted with skeletons and everything else so you see that clan castle went down really quick nicely placed jump spell gives access to the core and so we've got golems in the core just tanking and distracting all of those teslas and expos and defenses that would be really dangerous for those other troops and meanwhile he's got a little bit of a cleanup squad working the outside with a witch and several wizards and so he's got everything kind of being distracted in the middle and another crew going around picking off buildings on the outside. We'll speed it up just a little bit. Everything kind of bogs down in the middle a little bit, but once they get through that wall, uh, they're able to get in there. The witches, wizard, and queen are able to start taking out some more defenses. And those skellies help to break through the walls really quickly. And again, the golem's just tanking away 
Those wizards do kind of jump in front because they're faster, uh, so they're going to go down, but the golems are on their way to shield them, and the queen right there, he pops her ability. There's only one defense left. Looks very similar to that first raid. Everything's down now, and he's still got two golems that haven't even busted yet, and a queen at almost half health, so really nice job there. Sherman on two three-star attacks, much needed. Next up, Zarek against base number eight, and this is another common internet uh, base, um, and it's a very probably one of the most popular Town Hall 9 farming bases you'll see as well. And however, very beatable with this strategy here, just bringing the Go Weho. Uh, he goes ahead and drops the two golems. He picks the compartment closest to the queen in the clan castle. That's going to allow him access with his kill squad to take out the enemy troops, as well as get the queen down. And I don't see where he had a poison spell there, so maybe Dark Spell Factory is upgrading. Um, but goes ahead there and acts, activates the ability, gets through there, and the main part is done. They're going to continue to tank and take out defenses while the hogs are working their way in on the corners. And he's just going to work his way around the base. He goes ahead and pre-heals with that giant bomb so those hogs live through it. And he's going to work around the base in a clockwise fashion, just dropping little pockets of hogs into those four corners. And so that's the susceptibility of these four square corner bases that you can split the base into sections and just attack one, each one individually there. Then all the hogs kind of meet up there. Probably didn't anticipate that giant bomb being there, but has a heal spell waiting for the hogs. Has it drop it a little quicker. Probably wanted to wait and try to get it into that fourth uh, square out there, but goes ahead and drops that giant there for a little bit of distraction and uh, the golem is in there now taking the hits from the archer towers letting the hogs do their work skellies are bugging them a little bit but all the defenses are down they're going to turn on those skellies right now taken care of and it's just a matter of going into cleanup mode queen's out there beating on a wall like she likes to do instead of getting into the battle and uh Still got his max uh, clan castle golem running around full health. A few more cleanup troops, and the hogs do the rest of the work. So really nice job there, and again, pretty good attack there and standard for that common internet base. Just a quick update. War has ended officially, 53 to 48. And oh, here we go. Um, they didn't use all their attacks. We did. Great job. Three-star attacks ended up being 13 to 8, so we beat them by 5. Uh, so great job there on the cleanup. We had a rough start, a lot of one stars, zero stars, but uh, cleaned up strong using the system, hitting down and just being smart with our target selection. And we're able to take this war by quite a decent margin. So good job, guys. We are getting into the Town Hall 8 portion of the war map now, and we did have several three stars uh, throughout the Town Hall 8, so we had to do a lot of hit down, a lot of nuke attacks. And so what I'm going to do is kind of feature a separate video for how to do a air-based nuke attack on Town Hall 8 and feature those attacks there. Uh, here we will just look at the true Town Hall 8s and their three star attacks, starting with Darth against another uh, internet base, very common. And so when you see this design, I have no idea what, if it's got a name or what it's called, but it's basically an anti-go wipe base, so Darth's going to bring a go wipe. But you'll see it ends up working out really well here. Uh, the reason I say it's an anti-go wipe base is there's uh, the walls are all open around the base, and so it's designed to, once you break in, draw you around the outside of the base and not give you access to the core. Obviously a Quake would be able to get you in there and break that design a little bit, but he just goes ahead with... Uh, Realizing that the Quake takes up a lot of spells and just goes with kind of a standard go wipe army. Good spread on the golems. Goes ahead and takes the clan castle out on the fly with the poison and the wizards. And uh, just slowly working it in as soon as the funnels are created, dropping the P.E.K.K.A.s in, they kind of split and provide additional tanking power. So now he's got four different sets of tanks, including the BK, kind of spread out throughout the base. The wizards can follow behind and just kind of you know use them as a shield while they use their dps to take out buildings so ends up working out really nice here managing the spells judiciously goes ahead and drops the uh, heal spell there to keep everything up and he's got another heal waiting and a rage spell and so again those teslas are in the core designed while everything is walking around the outside to be pounding them uh, from the core with the teslas and so that's where this design is is designed to be anti-go wipe but he's going ahead and using his heal spells just to keep everything alive as they work their way around. And uh, just waiting for that opportune moment to go ahead and rage things up. Notice he saved several wizards to go around the outside, uh, which I think was a key to this attack working. If he had had everything going up the gut and in the core, 
It would have been targeted all at once. This way, while the inner troops are distracting, the outside wizards can start cleanup, as well as um, while they're distracted, they're going ahead and hitting those exterior defenses. And so we didn't get bogged down with the walls. Goes ahead and had the rage spell there to get into the core. Just has a few troops left, five wizards or so, and the P.E.K.K.A., but the P.E.K.K.A.'s got enough life there, and those wizards, as long as he makes it, will go ahead and take it out, so... There you go, one shot from the P.E.K.K.A., nice job, just a straight-up go-wipe, real good patience, so... Again, we've seen that base a lot, so now we know that a go-wipe's gonna work, too. Here we're gonna see kind of a just a well-thought-out uh, hog attack by Seymour Kitties. And uh, you'll see, obviously, this looks like a follow-up attack. He knows right where those giant bombs are. There's spawn points to run right across them. Uh, he goes ahead and gets the lure there. And he's going to drag him out to the left corner there. But nice job just using really cheap troops there to go ahead and uh, trip those giant bomb spots. There's only one left, so that's all he's got to worry about for the remainder of his hog attack. That BK is on the outside exposed, so he could do a BK swap if he had to there. Um, no targeting either. He could use minions and air troops to go ahead and target those too. Um, he goes ahead and drops his uh, witches out of his clan castle, followed up with his wizards, and they're going to go ahead and take that clan castle out. He's saving his poison spell, knowing that that is going to be best used for his ground skellies. Again, nothing able to target out there. He does go ahead and drop the minion on the BK and the loon on that unprotected cannon just to get one more defense out of the way with one troop. So really nice job there thinking that through. Goes ahead and drops his hogs in front of his kill squad so that they can shield them and keep them alive. And uh, everything starts working their way around. About time for a heal spell. There it goes, right where the heat of the defenses is with the double Tesla and the whiz tower. Uh, you see he does have skeletons kind of bugging him there. He dropped the poison on the first set. Uh, second set is now kind of attacking his hogs. Drops his clan castle hogs, or maybe their remaining inventory hogs. And time for another heal spell here. There it goes. A little off on the location. He could have covered a lot more space with that heal spell. Um, and then goes ahead and drops the last one there, which is a little better spot, but probably wouldn't have needed to drop it so soon if that first one was a little better, but that's all right. He's got his BK in there for cleanup now already, and uh, his wizards, again, with that spawn point, he can drop right next to the cannon and take it out. So hogs turn on the skellies, take them out. Still got his little minion friend alive, and it's just a matter of getting the cleanup done, which they're able to do in no time. So really nice job there. Way to use just a few customized troops and get a lot of value out of them with that minion, with that balloon. Absolutely love it. Great job there, Seymour. Next we have Pastor Ryan. Nothing fancy here, just bringing a Dragoon 105 with the Light Quake and a Rage spell. Goes ahead and picks the one that's surrounded by three. Well, they're all pretty much surrounded by storages, and so uh, it's a tough location to any of those, so you got to get rid of one of them. Uh, obviously, one of the level sixes is the right way to go. He's going to go right at the air sweeper and get it out of the way uh, since it's pointing in absolutely ridiculous direction. And uh, again, nothing uh, overly fancy here, just picture-perfect Dragoon funneling. He's got his cutters on the outside. Uh, they're pushing everything else to the middle, drops the loons, and he's going to rage everything up once the... Air defenses start targeting, perfectly placed rage spell, which leads them right up to the base of the air defenses. So it's not too far away and it's not too close. Now that dragon's going to get a few shots in on the loons, of course, um, but everything's down already. The loons are still alive. They get the one defense. They go ahead and split so they can get the other one. Great job. Both defenses are down as far as the air defenses. Loons have done their job, and he's still got probably five or six dragons in the air. And a BK for cleanup, which he drops on that pesky little builder's hut. There's three of them in the corners you'll see there. And so he's going to go ahead and start helping the cleanup process. We'll speed it up a little bit. Dragons split into a beautiful line there, so they're not all targeted and clumped, on, on, clumped up on one defense. So that was really beneficial. And uh, the only thing left that's going to really be able to target this BK is the cannon which it turns there a little early on the ability because the uh, assisting barbarians probably got caught up in that giant bomb a little bit, but it doesn't really hurt at this point to use it early and kind of get the cleanup process sped along. Uh, it would have been nice maybe if they hadn't hit that giant bomb just yet. And they do a nice split there at the end, so those builder huts are absolutely not an issue. So really nice job there, 105 Dragoon LQR. 
And lastly, we have the number 20 base and our number 20 player Tiger Hawk. And really neat attack here, bringing level 2 hogs. Uh, you see, uses that spawn point to trip a Tesla and some bombs. A scout hog there trips one giant bomb location. And uh, also gets a skelly trap tripped. It's obviously a low level because only two skellies pop. It's going to go ahead and attack up towards the top at the Barbarian King side of the base. And so this is tough because... Uh, even with max ADs, even a level 2 dragon attack is going to be very difficult. Uh, you see only level 4 wizards, and so uses a standard witch, barb, whiz, clan castle kill and gets this really high level dragon out of the way. BK is down tanking for that kill squad. And uh, eventually here he's going to realize that uh, his buddies are getting hit, and he's going to go over and help take out the enemy BK. And we see a two-fingered hog drop from each direction here. And... They're going to hopefully kind of work in concert and clear the pathway for that kill squad. Heal spells down on both sides of the base while the hogs are working their way around. And the skellies are taking some attention from the surrounding defenses. And again, these are only level 2 hogs. You can see how slow and how long it takes them to work through things. But look how many of them there are. Puts that heal spell on the approach to the remaining defenses, and from there it's over. When you have that many hogs left, even though they're low level, sitting in a heal spell, they're gonna they're gonna stay up, and they're fine. And then there's also some skellies there, but there's still a poison spell waiting right there, while they're sitting there attacking them, and they go down in a hurry. And we still got a witch, a BK, a couple of wizards, and some barbs floating around. And now it's just a matter of cleanup. And so really neat to see uh, even those low-level hog attacks when executed uh, with the Ho-Wee-Wee. It still, um, you know, just goes to show you, you don't always have to have the troops if you have the execution. Sometimes you can uh, get, if you have the troops, you can get it without the execution. But sometimes if you don't have the troops, uh, perfect execution helps. So really nice attack there with a three-star on a very difficult base for a new Town Hall 8 against max defenses, air defenses. And of course, we will still have our biggest fail, and we're going to take a look at what should have been a nuke attack. I hit down by a Town Hall uh, 8.5, I guess. Um, just a level 1 Archer Queen. Does have the 220 troop space and 4 spells. Um, should be able to pretty easily nuke a base, if not, you know, 2 star if something goes wrong. But we have here is a beautiful 0 star 43% or so attack by Peter322 and looks like he's bringing a go wee ho there and so let's see what exactly happened here where this went uh, way wrong uh, lure looks good there dragging him out to the corner nothing wrong there let's see where where the potential downfalls might be let's see if he uses his poison spell or not hopefully not Goes ahead and drops that giant out there to distract, backed by the wizards. Allows those wizards to get in a little close to the building so they kind of get distracted there. But needs a little more distract. He needs barbs or something to get under that dragon. Um, or just back it up by the archer queen to get that thing out of there quick. So he's going to have to do a back end now. And that golem spread is awfully wide in two different sides of the bases. So now he's got two different flanks going. Um, that seem very far away, so I don't think that's ideal. They are distracting a lot of attention, but there's no wizards hardly left to create a funnel, and so he's got nothing to help that poor little golem on the left side there. There's just no troops left, and he's going to get split open pretty quick, and uh, no funnel created, so we'll see if the queen walks to the middle or if she does a walk around like she loves to do. My guess is she'll probably walk around, but yeah, there she goes, and she's going to be unshielded. Um, so she gets targeted by that cannon and uh, drops that early rage spell. And yeah, at this point you've lost all of your tank. Uh, the hogs are too little too late because uh, you just have no DPS even if they were to get all the defenses down and clean up, which they won't because you only have two heal spells left uh, with that jump and the, and the rage already used. And that first heal spell is dropped where there aren't even any hogs. And so... Uh, second one there is dropped in the middle as a desperation attempt. Um, but there's just too much defenses, too many skellies running around, and too many wasted spells at this point. Hogs are not sitting in the heal spells. They're getting flipped. They're getting attacked by the BK. They're getting hit by uh, skellies and cannons, single target defenses. And that attack was an absolute disaster. 
and uh, so not a real good nuke attempt. He did make up for it and go down and get another three star in a Town Hall 8, uh, and so we do appreciate that, but this definitely is the biggest fail of the war. Uh, again, remember, we will be putting out a video for how to effectively nuke a Town Hall 8 if you're a Town Hall 9, uh, looking at air strategies, because that is the most ideal situation against a Town Hall 8. Nuke is an air strategy. And so I won't belabor it here. We will show you all the details of that in another video. Oh, we don't want to watch that again. It was too horrible. Uh, but again, great job, guys. Good job with the war. Way to stick in there. Way to hang with it. Um, you never cease to amaze me. When I think we're down and out, and and I don't always say it, but there's a lot of times where I give up. Um, but it, somebody always seems to come through, and it's often a different person every time. And so um, I guess that just goes to show us, uh, you know, we're never out until we're out. And actually, the ending score actually looks really good. So nice job there, guys. If you're in our clan, just remember we are going to be having a little bit of a modified war schedule as we get into the holiday season. If you're not, hope you enjoyed the video and the replays anyway, and it uh, helps you see some nice three-star attacks and what you can bring to your clan. You're more than welcome, if you're interested to learn these strategies, to request to join our clan, Assimilated. And it's a hashtag 2YY02U9R if you're interested, and uh, we'd love to talk to you and see if you'd be a good fit. But that does do it for this war recap. This is the All Father. Until next time, signing out.